Cosplayers, what's the creepiest thing that has happened to you at a convention? Dressed as Tenri from Naruto, not particularly revealing or anything, some dude comes up to me, tells me my costume is wrong and that Tenri's shirt is cut lower and before I can even react sticks his finger in the neckline of my shirt and drags it down almost to the bottom of my and my cleavage. Kid nearly lost his finger that day. Shoulder whacked him around with that giant fan. Me and my girlfriend have cosplayed together and she didn't get a single creepy comment or look while we were cosplaying, until she posted a pic of her cosplay to Reddit. I believe she ended up deleting the post cause of how bad it got, you bunch of creeps. The anonymous effect. At an anime con that I help run and I'm sitting at a table in the food court with a fellow convention runner and a female friend. Female friend is cosplaying as Sailor Mars. We were discussing creepy people at cons. Then two minutes later a guy comes up to the table and says I love your costume. I've been fantasizing about you since I was 13. At the time I was so shocked that all I could do is fasopum. She took it in stride but I still can't believe that someone would say that. Well I once met up with my girlfriend at Otakon, and I saw her before she saw me, so I went in for the hug, and she swung for my face. Apparently that had been happening a bunch. Many years ago I went to a con dressed as Chi from Chobits, and my boyfriend at the time was Hideki. They are the main character's love interest. The first day of the con, this strange teenage girl just glommed onto me, and started following me everywhere. She wasn't even in costume. She kept going up to random other cosplayers and asking them to take pictures of just me and them together. Not her, just the cosplayers. This went on for well over an hour, and she just would not take a hint. If I recall we finally got rid of her after making some excuse that we had some friends to meet. To this day I'm pretty sure there is some creepy shrine of me in costume somewhere. She was probably planning on role playing as you online. So a couple years ago my friend was at our local comic con cosplaying as someone from Madoka Magica. She was walking around when suddenly she felt someone grab her butt. She turned around to see a large hairy man behind her and she said, I'm 14. And he replied, yeah, I'm 40, and walked away. It was a very odd. I can just picture the guy who has no freaking idea why what he has done is inappropriate just responding with his age because he thought they were sharing some information. Hi, I'm 14. Well hello, I am 40. Okay, so this was like 2010 or 2011 at Anime Detour, Minnesota. It was my first convention, and my first time cosplaying. I went as Genesis, from FFVII Crisis Core, and happened to run into a couple girls dressed as Tifa and a Genesis clone. So we stopped and talked, because matching costumes and stuff. As we're talking, a big drunk neckbird comes up to us, dressed as Jeff Lebowski, complete with the dude sign on his shirt if you couldn't figure it out. Casually as frick, he starts hitting on Tifa, trying to be nice. We told him we needed to get going, because karaoke was starting soon. Turns out he loves karaoke, and he took theater in high school. How did we find this out? After subtly alluding to it, he starts serenading her with Phantom of the Opera. Finally, I just said we were leaving to head back to our room for the night, before he could try to follow after us. A group of girls dressed as the cast of Sailor Moon walked by, and he did the creepiest stalker pivot I've ever seen. He followed after them, and I didn't see him the rest of the night. He was hanging out in the lobby the next morning, obviously hungover. Stalker pivot. Two words and I can almost see the move, and it is creepy fo show. And also, strangely funny, like the dog in up. Tits 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 to forentits. I made a rather elaborate growed costume for Halloween this year, spent about 2 weeks gluing and texturing tubes to make it all wood looking and was ready to enter a costume contest. Halloween night, I eventually make it to this bar after standing around waiting for taxes for about an hour. I stroll up semi frantically looking for somewhere to register for this contest when I get spotted by the crowd. Two things I should mention. 1. I'm black. 2. I live in China. This notice of my arrival turns the crowd pretty frantic because the movie had just come to theaters over here. Photos were fast and constant. Started off rather normal, but then I started feeling hands everywhere. I'd be taking a picture with one person and have five hands on me. 
With the mask on I had no peripheral vision, so things got super weird feeling really fast. I figured the voting was all based on crowd favoritism though so I just sort of panicked under the mask and dealt with it. Contest happens. Win 300 bucks. Super stoked. Attempt to leave. Crowd of mostly Chinese people realizes that Groat is Groat and Black. Mob descends again. It was by far the largest amount of stranger groping I'd ever had done to me. Far more than the old man who used to follow me around this grocery store and attempt to wipe the black off of me. Comma far more than the old man who used to follow me around this grocery store and attempt to wipe the black off of me. Please tell us this story. I'm a dude and I went to Boston Comic Con last year dressed as a gender bent nurse joy. I was trying to buy some magic cards and the guy selling them cursed me out because I ruined every hunty for him and he would never be able to fap to nurse joy again. You should have told him I guess now you're stuck between a brock and a hard place. My girlfriend told me about the last convention she and her sister went to when they were 14 and 12, respectively. Her sister wanted a doll from this vendor at a con and the vendor told her, 12, that he had bigger better ones out in his car van and if she waited a few minutes, he'd take her out there and let her have one for free because he liked her. They went out together and they both got in his car and he tried to frick her, not sure of details, but she avoided the potential debauchery and she ended up getting the doll. Her parents never found out, GF just told me there was touching. Also, the doll was an expensive life like doll that she said cost dollar sign 150. Speaking as the father of an 11 year old girl who has zero impulse control and is completely guileless around adults who are not her parents, this story turned my blood to ice. I'm not a cosplayer, but I am intrigued with it, but I used to be a manager at the Hilton in downtown Houston and every year, they were the host hotel for Onicon. One year was especially bad. Some of the attendees used their real swords to cut holes in the sofas in the common areas and they actually crap shat in the holes. This is a 4 star hotel. Needless to say, that was their last year there. I was wearing a Master Chief cosplay. Since it had no pockets and it was really hot, I kept a bottle of water within the cod piece. Suddenly a girl runs up to me, reaches inside my cod piece and takes my bottle of water. It happened so fast and suddenly that I was stunned for like 20 seconds. I guess she really wanted my crotch water. Suuuu yeah, you were keeping a bottle in your cod piece because you didn't have any pockets. Folks, if you're at a convention and notice someone being creeped upon, female or male, help. Approach and ask if everything is okay. If they need any help, give them an excuse to get out of there. Anything. And especially if someone you've never met before comes up and treats you like a significant other or old friend. They're looking for help. They feel the need to be out of that situation immediately. Play along and get them out of range of the creeper. Find security or stuff for them. Whatever you can do. Nobody should have their good time ruined by someone with no social skills who can't take a hint. It can be a frightening situation. And it's not always possible to extricate yourself without outside help. This is way less creepy than the other stories, but it was still uncomfortable. My boyfriend and our female friend dressed as Timo back in November. Note, this was not her Timo costume. She had on a nude tube top and fuzzy scarf, and BF did not wear a shirt, but also had a scarf on. One of the security guys came and angrily told them to put on shirts or leave. Both of them. Because this is a convention for children, never mind the 50s Pikachu costumes we saw. Later, after going to Target and getting my boyfriend a nude colored shirt, the guy followed us around while he was off duty. He stopped BF once and yelled at him about putting shirt on, and when he showed him he was, the guy just kept staring at him. I guess he thought he was going to randomly take the shirt back off, I don't know. It was so awkward. Go to love security staff tripping on the tiniest little bit of power they have. I went to Starlord to a beer release party right before Halloween just for shoots and giggles. Had the mask, orb, gun and all. This party had a heavy metal concert going at it, so it was packed with metal heads. It was awesome because these drunk metal heads just freaking treated me like I was Starlord. But it was also terrifying because these metalheads treated me like I was Starlord. Haha. <laughs> I had pictures taken with a lot of people. And about every other photo someone would do something fricked up like grab my junk. 
ask to lick my gun or tell me to look like I was choking them. It was weird. Totally worth it, though. Someone gave me free beer tickets. First con the GF talked me into cosplay with her I decided to go simple and went as Mario while she went as Link. Most of it went really smooth and fun with all the pictures and booth visits. Had more than one creeper mention they were picturing Mario and Link fricking after realizing we were a couple. Some people just don't have filters. Great, now I'm picturing Mario and Link fricking. It gets worse. Mario is from from the Mario Bros Super Show and so is Link. It doesn't really count as creepy, more like intensely unconformable. I did a Constantine cosplay that I put way, way too much work into. Tracked down an off-brand raincoat from the early 80s, slept in, and carefully dry laundered. A white button-up shirt for weeks, imported a carton of silk-cut cigarettes, which were awful, and bleached my hair. I was so excited. Con staff assumed I was some kind of drunk hobo, and I had security tailing me most of the day. You'd think the magic symbols drawn on me and flash paper in my pockets would be a giveaway that it was a costume, but apparently I pulled off the creepy almost homeless weirdo too well. Being constantly stalked by renter cops didn't a fun time make anyone asking. I wish I had pictures, but that was almost 10 years and 2 computers ago, and I was an unprepared uni student. I'm sure there are pictures. I just don't know where. I couldn't find any pictures of the Constantine cosplay, but I found one from when I did Wily Times for a costume party. If anyone wants to see that one, I can post it. I can see how this wouldn't be fun, but it seems that you achieved the desired effect flawlessly. So really, well done you. I have a couple. Whilst cosplaying Elsa, we stopped to have a picture taken with a dad and a couple of his kids. He tells me my dress looks beautiful, which is a lovely compliment. He then tells me it would look better on his bedroom floor. His kids were around 5-ish, classy, again, whilst cosplaying Belle. I again stopped to take a picture with a young family. The dad stopped and asked his kid, around 7, to take a picture of us. He immediately starts with the creepy comments loudly telling his kid not to tell his wife because she'd get jealous. Then he proclaims how he's enjoying looking down my top. Best one will always be the guy that came over to me whilst I was cosplaying Ariel. Human. So big dress. And sang darling it's better down where it's wetter and made cringy hand gestures. It's strange because when I cosplayed Deaneries, which was basically a bra and a skirt with some fabric, I didn't get a single creepy comment. Ain't nobody gonna frick with the mother of dragons. I have been going to cons for a good chunk of my life and I've had my fair share of creepy stuff happen to me. But this one takes the cake. This story takes place when I was 16. So it's been a few years. I was cosplaying as Alan Walker from D. Grey Man. So it wasn't so obvious if I had a chest or anything. Alan is a guy. For those who don't know, it was Saturday night and I was sitting outside in a secluded hall trying to sleep when a couple comes up to me. They start talking to me, which really annoyed me because I'm trying to sleep. They start asking me all these questions like how old are you and are you a girl along with others, all of which I answered truthfully. I had no answer not to. They revealed to me that they were in their mid to late twenties. I'm still half asleep at this point and mention that I am hungry. Holy crap. These people were all over that. Come up to our room. We have sushi and soda they seem too excited so I threw out that my mother had told me not to go with strangers. The guy, it was a hetero couple, started rubbing my hand saying that I looked cute in my costume. It was Alan's casual out of uniform costume, so not really cute if anything, and that it would look great off. I was super confused and said something like what does that mean they then told me that if I frick them, they would give me food. I bet you would be great in bed, and you're so cute. At this point I was just saying no a lot, but he wouldn't let go of my hand. The girlfriend joined in too, and was just talking about all of the naughty things we could do, but I'm only 16. That was my entire defense. We don't care. They kept on trying to convince me, and they both started grabbing my arms and trying to pull. My friend ended up seeing me and coming over. It just so happened that a friend of ours wrecked his knee and broke it, and that we needed to go. I saw the couple pout and the guy took my phone and put his number in case you change your mind and want some fun. I ended up seeing them the next day and staying far away. Yep.
There is a con chair here in Ohio that is a registered diddler, along with his wife, for trying to get underage girls to come up to their rooms, even when they find out that they are underage. It's in the database, and good on you for listening to your mom. I was cosplaying as Samus from the Metroid series, had the suit and everything. So I'm walking around the convention minding my own business when some guy who looked like one of those know-it-all people, you know the kind of people who try to convince they know everything? Anyway he comes up and says to me I bet you don't know the entire lore of the Metroid series, even though I know most of it I didn't have time to get into a dong measuring contest with this guy, so I walked past him. He ends up following me all around the convention asking me the same dang question. I eventually got tired of it so I went to security and he was escorted out of the convention. It was creepy how he was so persistent to know if I was a true fan or not. At least I haven't seen him since. You should have just said that you played the other M, but didn't care for the other Metroid games. This isn't strange, but more endearing. I went as Link to a comic and maybe two years back. And let me tell you, I went all out, everything about the outfit matched the Twilight Princess tunic perfectly. Honestly it's probably one of the only great things I'll ever do in my life. Anyways, I was walking around the con when a little Link, with his parents as Zelda and Ganon, walked up to me, and this kid looked like he just met Santa Claus. He was so excited to see me, that is probably the happiest I've ever seen 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 that kid is my hero. Those parents are my hero. That family is my hero. Of time, of course. That's rather sweet, and a good detox from the rest of the stories in this thread. I went to a convention dressed as female Robin. I had a photographer take a few photos. Semi-professional. Looking to get started in the business so he was having me pose and stuff. I gave him my email after he was done. And he told me he'd email me the pictures once they were edited. About a week later, I got my pictures and he included a note at the bottom saying he thought that I was very attractive and said he wouldn't mind if he took more photos of me in his basements for a low price. Um no thanks. My reaction was, oh, wow, finally, a story about a professional photographer, not a random creep who oh nope, just a perv with a fancy camera. I ended up earning the title of creep magnet because of all of these, I'll try to keep them concise. A huge L cosplayer followed me and my friends around, made references to his milk that women like, we were eating milk pocky, so he pounced on that, tried to kiss one of the girls and threatened to defeat the soul boy of the group using Naruto and Kakashi's combined Tejutsu, so he could have his pick of the girls. Had my chest groped by a random grail cosplayer who ran up and began grinding against me. It got bit on the shoulder so hard it scarred for a year. A Naruto cosplayer asked me and my friend, cosplaying Homura and Madoka, to pose as though we were kissing him, while someone took a photo. The England cosplayer who threatened to attack my non-cosplaying buddy with a yayoi paddle if he didn't support the empire. I was cosplaying Krona from Soul Eater when I heard a scream of Krona from across the convention hall. I turned around and squinted. I have really bad vision and I'd taken my glasses off for the costume. There were two fuzzy blobs. One blob called out, run, she loves you. I turned around, as though to do a joking slow motion run. Then something very heavy collided with my back. Both my knees slammed onto the cold, very hard floor of the convention hall. The girl got off of my back, asked for a hug, and left. That's all I remember so far but hug. Yayoi paddle. Literally the cringiest convention fad to ever pass. Glad every convention I frequent banned them. Walking around a convention I saw the guy wearing giant rubber tentacles on his arms following pretty girls around. I did a quick 180 inches and got the heck away from him. TBH. That's hilarious. I just wouldn't want to be the guy making the joke. My girlfriend and I were dressed as Booker and Elizabeth from Bioshock. And we kept getting high fives, compliments, stuff like that. But then this group of teenagers in anime school girl costumes and wigs start freaking out over us like they'd met actual Booker and Elizabeth and ask for a hug. And I uncomfortably go out which they take as a yes and just group hug us for like 15-20 seconds. 
We then noticed that not all of the schoolgirls were girls and were just like okay, that's enough now, and got out of there, TL, DR, got group hugged by Japanese schoolgirls that were 13 14 years old boys. My advice for other girls is to avoid photographers, especially old men that don't seem to have any interest in what the con is about. Me and my friends all got propositioned by them to have a private shoot with them. That clearly had a hint of them wanting to get naive girls to pose nude for them. Also a couple of them got followed stalked by guys. One noticed a guy trying to get an upskirt picture. No one of the people I hang out with wear steamy outfits. Some were not even cosplaying. I don't recommend the business cards ideas completely, the most persistent ones were the ones who got my email because I had to mail them for my photos. So far I preferred the ones where I can just pluck my photo from their Facebook. No contact needed, I can clearly see the quality of the rest of the photos. Only do private shoots at the con where people still walk by or with friends present. If they ask you to take your shoes off they are also bad news. About 42 times of inappropriate butt grabbing. Don't grab people's butts. It's rude. You might not think so, but it is. Don't be rude. A group of three teenagers who asked me to kiss them. I told them I thought that was really awkward to ask a stranger. And they got uncomfortable and walked away. An old guy watching us help my friend get into her costume. She was wearing a black t-shirt, leggings, and a skirt. We were helping her into an over corset and jacket told her she could take the corset in another 4 inches. She laughed uncomfortably and told him she still wanted to be able to breathe. He didn't get that as his cue to do off into the distance. Said, oh, come on, you can take it in the more. Just 4 more inches. At this point, I say, sorry, we're changing while friend 2 and I are looking at him with death glares. He leaves, muttering it's not like she was naked. I've been going to local MN cons for a few years now. Needless to say, the crowd is repetitive and everyone pretty much knows each other. I was at the Raven of Fiona the Human cosplay with a pretty good con friend of mine, Jessica, who was wearing a skirt and tank top. We were standing in the front and this 14 stroke 15 year old looking kid starts dancing with us, and so we welcomed him. The dancing involved no touching whatsoever. Keep in mind Jessica and I are in our 20s. The kid whips out his phone and starts filming the rave, and I'm like okay cool he's really excited to be here that's awesome. But then he just drops to his knees and slides the phone between Jessica's legs to try and get an upskirt video. I punched the phone out of his hands and then watched him delete the video. Mathematical. I was dressed as Babadol from Sucker Punch and I was with a few friends sitting on the ground in a side hallway eating lunch. A guy with this creepy sheep mask, maybe from the purge or something, came and asked if he could get a picture with me, and I was obviously fine with it so I stood up to take the picture but he stayed kneeling on his knees and pulled me down with him. He then wraps his arms all the way around my waist and rests his head on my chest, like nuzzling into me all the while wearing this creepy butt sheep mask, so I'm just silently freaking out, and have no idea what to do. So I hold the pose while my friend takes the picture and then immediately lean away and nervously laugh as I do. He whips his head around and goes why are you laughing mind you. He has this heavy Russian accent and was crazy intense and I'm just starting to get really weirded out. I nervously laugh again. And he asks me again. And my friend immediately just says something like oh she just laughs randomly sometimes. And he doesn't even reply. He just gets up. Adjusts his mask. And says the sheep likes hugs. Being completely serious and still crazily intense. Then lets out this bleating sound. And walks away. I was jumpy for like a half hour after and my friends would bleat in my ear randomly to freak me out. TL. DR. Sheep like hugs. Don't question them. Dude asked what color my panties were and insisted I show him. I just shouted hey everyone. This disgusting man just asked me what color my panties are and he hightailed it. Been in this hobby for 10 plus years and the creepiest stuff happens online. Really. As weird as some congoers can be. They are worse online where they have less accountability and more distance. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
bye for now.